Well, okay, now, this meeting yeah. is being recorded. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, and it was offered the opportunity to leave for the first yeah. time, which was really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Welcome to the May 25th edition of the Community Call for Chaos. We do this every week, same time, same place, on Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m. U.S. Central. Um, Chicago time. So if you're watching this and you want to join us, we would love that. Uh, or you can just keep watching us from afar. That's also fine. I will put the minutes in the chat one more time, just in case if everybody could add their name to the list of attendees, that would be amazing. As always, we love that when you do that, let us know how you're doing and what's going on in your world. Uh, we have a short agenda again, um, which actually works out great because since we're starting uh, ChaosCon planning, we're going to be using the end of this meeting for the ChaosCon um, planning committee to get together and chat about uh, what's what's next and what we're working on. So um, at some point, we'll kind of end this meeting officially and everybody can jump off um, and then the ChaosCon planning peeps can hang out and we'll finish up. Mm. So. Um, you can expect a shorter agenda for a little while just because of that. So um, does anybody have any questions about that before we jump in? No? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so the first um, thing we wanted to let you know is that we are um, going to start offering open office hours. Uh, so this will be um, starting on June 7th, which is a Monday, and we'll do it from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. U.S. Central Chicago time. Um, and it will be uh, Matt G, myself, and Sean Goggins. We will be rotating out. So we'll just be hanging out on the Zoom channel, um, the, the Chaos Zoom, Zoom channel. Anybody wants to pop in and ask questions or figure out where they need to go, or if they're not sure about something they don't want to ask in front of a big group of people, um, or you know whatever, if they just want to pop in and say hi, totally fine. That's what those are there for. And so if anyone wants to do that, fantastic. You don't have to obviously stay for the whole two hours. Yeah. Um, just come and go as you please. Um, no big deal. You don't have to sign up or anything like that. Um, just come say hello. So uh, quick, could you say how question. often we're doing those? We're going to do them every Monday. Sorry, every Monday. Um, oh, and then Matt, Sean, and I will just rotate. So you'll, you'll get one of our happy faces um, on Monday morning. So lucky you. A uh, quick, quick question on the we're calling it office hours. Uh, office I hours, generally know, not towers. Yeah, I generally know that term from academia. Is that a is that a an idea that everyone understands outside of academia? Would the is it is that something that would be obvious for a newcomer, for example? A lot That's of a good question. Projects, a lot of open source projects have office hours. I know Kubernetes does, and the CNCF they do them at a lot of their, a lot of the conferences they do office hours for projects. And they they call it that. They call yeah. it office hours. They call it office hours. Okay. I was just, I wasn't sure. I was just curious. That's where it comes from academia, right? It's like it's the time yeah. where people can just sort of drop into your virtual Zoom office and ask you random questions. Uh, I will pose this question to our non-US or non-academia folks that are on the call. Does that term confuse you? Because if it does, we can absolutely call it something else. Okay, I'm guessing by the silence that we're okay. So <laughs> if, you, uh, if you are confused by this whole concept, uh, let us definitely let us know because this is something that we obviously want to offer to our newcomers. And if it's confusing, we don't want that. That's the antithesis of what we want. So um, yeah, just let us know if, if you're not sure what all that is about. Um, okay, any other questions about that before we just move on? Um, I guess I have a general question about how the broader group can support these. Um, should it be something where we just drop in if we have time, or do you have some sort of sign up sheet where we could take turns just so the burden doesn't fall on just a few folks to do this repeatedly? I, I think that's a great idea. We don't have one, though. We can start one. <laughs> and you get to be first on the list, I'm assuming, Sophia, <laughs> since you brought it up. It's like Not one of those where you have the holiday. 
No, 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 for sure. That's why we're going to start on June 7th, um, just because of the holiday and stuff. Uh, let me just make a note here, or if someone's making a note, yeah, Matt G is in the in the minutes. Um, yeah, we can absolutely do that. If you all want to sign up and, and grab a Monday, fantastic. That would be amazing. Do we think, uh, here's a question actually I was thinking about, um, do we think that having one person is enough uh, on those office hours? Do we need, do we need two from chaos? Not sure. I, mean, one, no. I think one is fine. Okay. I mean, yeah. I see a lot of it as like, my guess is like just kind of pointing people to like the community call is Tuesdays. So like, why don't you start by joining there and here's mm -hmm. the repository and if you're interested in Augur, I don't know. It, it, my guess is it's a lot of if people are going to attend, just kind of helping people directionally. Yeah, awesome. I would love to see a shared notes doc as well, so we can log the kinds of questions that are coming in and that's a good idea. Probably turn that's into a like idea. a thank you doc or whatever as this can. That's a yeah, that's a really good idea. I'm that so was I didn't, I didn't say I didn't say that. That was totally your idea. So <laughs> if you apply that from what I said, cool. <laughs> Um, okay. So, and I, you know, I've never actually done one, so I'm assuming that I can just leave the chat open and like go about my business and do my work. And then if someone pops in, like, I'll just be there. Is that usually how it goes, Matt and Sean? You must just stare We've at never the screen. Done. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it depends. Like, I mean, for in an like, academic world, it depends on if there's a deadline coming up really. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. Any other questions or ideas about how we can make that better? In other office hours that I've participated in, it's been directed by signups. So like, and we could take signups up to like 30 minutes up to it starts, but just so that people aren't wasting their time just sitting there. I mean, if you can multitask, then power to you. Um, but just to like, I mean, maybe not at the beginning if we're just starting it out to see, get a feel for it. But if it seems pretty spotty, we might, move to that model just to allow people to be able to adjust if no one's going to show up. But I think that's getting ahead of ourselves. So I think that's an excellent idea to keep on on tap for the future to see if you know if we definitely need to do that. I was also thinking like what happens if like 10 people show up? Doubt that that will happen, but you never know. So um, that would be another case where a sign up sheet would be super helpful if we have a lot of people coming in at once and having to wait, you know, to ask the questions or whatnot. All right, any other ideas people have seen from office hours at other places? You think we should just have like a Google um, sheet for signing up? It'd be the simplest thing that I could think of. You mean sign up to ask questions or sign up to mm -mm, host no, it? No, for the, just to host it. For um, hosting, I think a sheet, I think if, be doing a sign up, so I'd say a form so that it can be more anonymous. Or so for the, for like, just like, just for like the people like, like us, we could just use a sheet. But if yeah. somebody wanted to do yeah. that, okay. I'll make one real fast. Man, I love the efficiency. All right. Well, if anyone has any other ideas or if you um, attend a different office hours at some point and then you see something cool that people are doing, please let us know. Uh, we're super open to anything. So let us know. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, the next thing is um, we have a new metric release candidate, which I think is the first of the continuous um, release cycle. Uh, and I worked hard on this one. So of course I'm going to like make everyone look at it um, because <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, this was one that we had split out in the um, DEI working group. We had three uh, candidates for release um, that were all blobbed into one and we split them all out. So this is just the third of the three around documentation and it's documentation discoverability. Uh, there's a link to the PR in the minutes if you feel like giving it a quick read and see if you know, you have any questions or comments, or you, I guess you could wait as well to, until it's released officially. I'm not sure how Kevin would uh, would want that, but if you do have comments, feel free to add them in that in that PR, or pop into the DEI working group and let us know. We could talk about it in there too.
Any questions on that? I looked through the other working groups. I don't think we have any other ones that have been released, but if I'm wrong, someone please let me know. I think you're right. It's a safe bet. <laughs> no, usually I am wrong, so that's not a safe bet at all. Um, but in this case, I think that's the only one, so. As soon as, as, soon as that pull request is, is accepted, uh, I think that kind of officially starts the, the release process, so. Who, who does that then, Kevin? I thought that would be you. Uh, well, I mean, the working group, the working groups uh, are responsible for reviewing and accepting okay. pull requests. So once the, okay. once the working group has decided that this is the, the version of the metric that we would like to release for comment, they can uh, accept the comment. Uh, and then the, there are kind of two steps that would follow that. One is to create an issue uh, to capture the, uh, the comments. And the other one is to add the, uh, the metric to the release notes issue. And I, I noticed that the metric has already been added to the release notes issue. So the, so the next step for this release would be to accept this pull request and then to create an issue to collect comments. And once that issue is created to collect comments, that kind of puts it into a, a stage where I can then put it on the website. Okay, we had an issue uh, that was already open that was the original um, issue for the idea. So we just tagged that with a metrics release candidate label, um, but it's kind of buried. So it's not at the top of the issue list. Would, would it be better if we closed that issue and just opened another? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, it would probably be good to have some separation between a, an issue that's used to discuss the uh, creation of the metric versus an issue that's used to capture comments about the metric. It, it, it would probably be good to have separation there. Okay, we will definitely do that then. And there just is a, note, I was, oh, go ahead, Kevin. I was just gonna say, and there is a, a template uh, for uh, creating those, those issues to collect the comments. So they, they all should kind of have the similar form and have links that go to the, the proper places. Uh, if you need to know what that template looks like, I believe it's uh, in the governance repo or alternately, or, or alternatively, you can uh, just look at one of the previous release issues to, to grab that. And then I, I'm, I'm done, thank you. So I was gonna say, um, Sean, it looks like there's a couple of metrics in evolution that are under community review as well. There are. So contributing organizations and code com changes commits? Yes, okay. that is correct. Um, and we should put them under review through this formal process. Yeah. OK. We'll do that in our next meeting, which is tomorrow morning. I think we just reached that point at the end of our last meeting, so. Okay. I'll make a note of uh, putting putting metrics under formal community review. I'll, I'll be in that meeting tomorrow, by the way. So I'm happy to help with that. All right. Well, you can help us make that. Thank you, Kevin. So I, I'm, trying I'm to also like... happy to help with the DEI metric, by the way. If, uh, if you'd like me to do that. Okay. I'm going to stop talking and do my tasks. <laughs> I was going to put like a link to, to the evolution metrics under review in here, but I have to make that sign up sheet right now. So I'm stop. <laughs> no worries at all. Um, any other questions about metrics uh, or anything on this?
All right, we will go ahead and move on to item number three, which is to uh, welcome our GSOC students again. We we did this last week, but I would like to do that again. I'm glad someone will put that on the, the agenda because um, we do have Rashmi's here, um, Dhruv is here, and Yash is here. And those are three of our six um, GSOC students. So yeah, I don't know welcome. if you all want to, uh, if you feel comfortable just uh, saying hello and what, and tell us again what project you're working on. We would love to hear it because I think there are some people who are on this call that were not on the call last week. So I'm sure they would like to hear from you. So Yash, um, we're, we're, we're all familiar with your name, I think, but we appreciate you. Um, so just let us know how it's going and what you're working on. Yeah, so hello everyone. I'm a fresher from IIT BHU, India. And I'll be working on the process of automating the metrics release process. I think the next release is set, scheduled for somewhere around September, I guess. Is that right? So uh, we'll be looking to get that automated from there on. Yeah, and I'll be working uh, alongside Ritik. He's a, he isn't in this call, but yeah, we'll be working together probably. Welcome, welcome. Um, we really appreciate you being here. Um, Drew, do you want to say hello and tell us what you're working on? Yeah, hi, hello everyone. So I'm um, I would be working on developing a shared data resource for uh, dependencies, risks, and vulnerabilities. Uh, yeah, I'm a second year engineering student at Mumbai University. And that's it. I'm, think I, I'm super excited to get started. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Even though you've already been in the community for a while, <laughs> it feels weird saying welcome, but welcome anyway. Um, Rashmi, hi, do you want to say hello and tell us what you're working on? Hi everyone, um, I'm Rashmi. I'm an incoming graduate student at Carnegie Mellon. Um, I'll be working on extending uh, the existing organization model so we can capture better information about the contributors. Um, it's my first time attending GSOC and I'm very excited to be here. Um, I love the community. I love all the Harry Potter ones because I'm a, um, I'm a Potterhead. I've never found anybody in uh, right here where I live who's like a Potterhead. So super excited. We are very happy to have you here, Rashmi. So thanks for, thanks for that. Um, Anybody have any questions for Yash, Rashmi, or Dhruv? It's great to have you all here. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so I think We'll just leave it open for a couple minutes in case anybody has any final things they want to bring up. Otherwise, um, those of us working on Chaos Con will stick around and and uh, talk about stuff. Work on so does anybody Chaos Con. Yeah. Work on Chaos Con. That's right. I have nothing. Bye, Salona. <laughs> now I get to go write emails. Super <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. Bye. All right. Well, we will go ahead and officially close the meeting out. Um, so if you're on the CASCON planning committee, please stick around and we can stop the recording.